taught you that, so I don't know how you know that. <laughs> okay. Hi, my name is Abe. I'm a programmer, I'm an engineer, I'm a developer. But I'm also a human, and as a human, I form very emotional relationships with the things that I make, with the code that I write. And these emotions run the gamut, okay? Sometimes I'll be happy that I've made some code that's really awesome. Sometimes I'll be sadder that it's not so great. Often I'll be frustrated that the code I've written is inelegant and full of bugs. But the emotion I experience most often is anger. Anger at the asshole who left a deprecated API endpoint in the docs. Anger because I get paid to write PHP all day long. Anger, anger, <laughs> lots of anger. And so I mentioned before that I was a human. And as a human, I feel the need to express myself whenever my emotions mount. And when I'm coding, often the only avenue available for my expression is the git commit log. So I found myself pouring outbursts of profanities into my commit logs. And I figured I'm not the only human who codes, right? There must be others who are doing the same thing. So I scraped GitHub for other authors of code who were cursing in their commit logs, and I found quite a few of them. And so I threw them up on a website called commitlogsfromlastnight.com. <laughs> and this is, this is a real website. These are real people with real commit logs writing really bad code. Or at least fixing it, or whatever they're doing. And um, so it was really, it's been up for, for about a year. And uh, I've been collecting all this data, and I figure, how can I parlay it into something actionable that we as software engineers can use to better ourselves and our craft? And so I wrote a series of really bad R graphs that I'm, well, I'll show you tonight. So the first one is coming right up. Give me a second. Here's a histogram, uh, no, a tree map of the relative curse words and their uses. You'll notice that shorter curse words are much more prevalent than longer ones. And this is because engineers, good ones, always have their minds on what is simple, concise, and efficient. Here is a, a map of, um, there you go. These are all the curses in the language. But listen, this, this map, you don't actually know anything from this because there's no context, right? There aren't equal numbers of repositories in GitHub for each language. So this map shows the numbers, and this, you can see that Java far outstrips the number of repositories. They're proving that it is the worst language on GitHub. <laughs> strangely enough, strangely enough, Shell and Perl do not have many curses, which means there's a thriving community of well-mannered neckbeards on GitHub. <laughs> this is a time map to see when devs are the angriest. We can see that it's the, the most angry time to be developers on Tuesday nights at 8 p.m. And, and I have no idea what that means. <laughs> Maybe their pizza's late or something, I don't know. Uh, here's a histogram of how many followers each repo has with a curse in it. Uh, these are some really well-known household names of projects with curses in their commit logs. This is true. Um, but as you would expect, most of the, the repos with curses don't have very many followers. And I take exception to this because, like I, she mentioned I had a degree in philosophy, I'm a bit of a Kantian, which means I don't think something's ethical unless it's okay to do it to the entire world. So, with that in mind, I wrote a Twitter bot that scrapes commit logs from repos that don't have very many followers and tweets them to the profaneur with a link to the offending commit log so the entire world can see. And so, uh, and this way justice is being raised in our world. But seriously, like, how, this, this is not really useful yet. How can we really use this to make us better software engineers? So the next time you're select, selecting a uh, language for your next project, um, instead of analyzing the constraints and problems in your domain and finding a feasible solution that fits into your existing infrastructure, you should instead surveil your programmers 24-7 to find out their natural rate of profanity and match up a language whose, profile, whose profanity profile matches that of your programmers. This is the language they'll be most comfortable and this most productive coding in. <laughs> um, or you could just use C, because evidently C is the most badass language. <laughs> and badass languages, ipso facto, produce badass software, which is good. And this way, we're increasing the quality of what we make as engineers. Um, but, um, but seriously, guys, look at Cursing is really good for you. There's been studies done. We as developers, we're unhealthy creatures. We're hunched over our desks all day long. We're eating jerky and Red Bull. And we, could, we need to be more healthier, so we need to start cursing more. And to make that claim, I, of course, need some more data. So I did a longitudinal study of six authors. And I found conclusive evidence that authors who cursed copiously in their literature tended to live on average of twice as long. So this is science, folks. <laughs> this is real. This is the real deal. So you need to start cursing more if you want to live a happy, healthy, productive life as an engineer. And so if you do that, you will show up on commitlogsfromlastnight.com. Um, and if you want to curse me out, I'm at Abe Stanway. Thank you. Woo!